Hi there. My name is Randy, and I'm with Marvelous Mushrooms and More. And uh, we're going to do a video today on mushroom blocks. What I consider mushroom blocks are the actual substrate you grow the mushrooms on. Now I go with six pound blocks, and uh, I have some in the bins right here. We'll take a look at them. These are finished. They've been through the sterilization process. Um, I just took them out a few hours ago. They're still slightly warm. Uh, we won't inoculate these maybe this evening uh, when they actually get down to about room temperature or so. Um, these ones have a little different mix than I'm uh, normally used to using. I ran out of some supplies so I uh, tried something different. Uh, we'll see how well these do, but I wanted to uh, make a video and uh, show some of the newer uh, growers um, how I do it. Um, I've had pretty good luck with uh, my mix and my system that I use. I'm going to close these up and keep them clean. Um, I've got a concrete mixer. I have a nice big tub here. I'll clean off the table here in a minute. and uh, I've got some uh, um, wood chips over here. And I have some wood pellets. And a little plaster of Paris. And right in here we have some we ran. I'm going to go ahead and mix up a half a batch in the mixer first and uh, get it all done. We'll dump it out here and then make another half batch and then uh, be able to fill up a dozen six pound bags or blocks and uh, show you how to do that and fold them up get them into the pressure canner and run them uh, so we can uh, grow some mushrooms. So here we go. Let me get this uh, cleaned up and uh, I'll be right back. Hi there. I'm back. Well, we've got just about everything ready here and uh, just about ready to go. Um, We've got uh, a recipe. A recipe is going to be, let's see here, for half a batch we have 3.5 pounds of planer chips. Um, I'm using alder, uh, I mix with a little bit of oak and maple. Um, I have some uh, pine bedding. It actually works pretty good. They say you're not supposed to use pine, but um, it seems to work fine for me. Uh, we live in the central Washington desert, so uh, we don't have a lot of, of wood products. So I buy this at my local feed store. It's uh, Blue Mountain. Um, this is uh, horse bedding, or animal bedding, I guess. Um, the reason why is it's, uh, it's cheap. It's like six bucks a bag. And uh, it works good as a filler between my um, fine, like, uh, sh the planer shavings that are a little bit too fluffy. So uh, this helps out. Um, have those in uh, this bucket right here. And so what I'll do is I have uh, three gallons of water. So we'll go ahead and take the uh, pine bedding and get it in the mixer. And we have some plaster of Paris. This will give us our calcium. We're going to put about five ounces of that in here. Uh, roughly about like that. We're going to go ahead and add three gallons of water I usually add
add it in that that way so that the uh, the calcium doesn't go everywhere like dust and the horse bedding all the pellets will actually absorb the water and just break apart um, and they go pretty fast um, let's measure out some some of our bran we have wheat bran here I get it at my local health food store I get it in 35 pound sacks um, let's see here it is ADM food brand 35 pounds um, it's just wheat bran uh, it's a great product uh, it's only like in my place it's like 12 bucks or something for a bag so it's really inexpensive and it works great mushrooms love it all right so for my recipe it calls out for I have two and three quarter pounds of bran and I've got a little mail scale here I use uh, buckets about one and three quarter pounds and we'll take a scoop there's about a little over a pound there Almost. Okay, right about there. We'll go ahead and dump the bran in. Push this off to the side here. Here I have wood chips. I'm a cabinet maker by trade, so I have uh, some wood chips. Most of the wood chips I have are particle board sawdust, and I can't use that for mushrooms. But whenever I plane down real hardwood, I save as much as I can and use it for my mushrooms. This stuff is really fluffy. So I know from experience, if I fill a five gallon bucket all the way up, it's enough for a half a batch. It's mostly alder, a little bit of oak, and mainly alder. Give it a little tamp down. Give it a full bucket here. can see here how how fluffy it is so I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side bit of water left over in here. Whoops, lost the light. I'll uh, get to that later, I guess. Dump what little bit of liquid I have left in this from the last batches. Go ahead and we'll run this for about a minute. What we're looking at is just enough to where if you squeeze it hard, you get a few drops out of there. That's perfect. Go ahead and run it for a few more seconds. I'll come back in a minute and uh, we'll start filling up some bags.